It's day three here in Washington at TCT, and I'm Peter Block for On the Scene. The whole issue of what to do with instant stenosis is a problem, and with me is uh, Fernando Orlando, Alonzo uh, from Pamplona, of all places, where you run with the bulls. And so uh, we're going to hear about an interesting trial of a drug-eluting balloon versus stent and stent. So, Fernando, tell me what your trial is about. Okay, so this is a, a trial uh, comparing the best strategies for patients with drug eluting in stem restenosis. This is part of the RIPS program where many university hospitals in Spain, 25 in fact, are working together to address this problem. So in patients with uh, drug eluting in stem restenosis, we just compare the use of drug uh, eluting balloons and we use the sequence please uh, as compared with a second generation drug eluting stand and in this regard we use the uh, Everolimus eluting stand the science prime and we uh, randomized uh, 309 patients that were allocated to these two strategies. So the drug eluting balloon is sort of a hot topic everyone was hoping this is going to be a great new therapy that would be easy and not leave anything behind tell me what you found. Okay, well, uh, this is a, a great therapy, but uh, our results suggest that the minimal lumen diameter and other surrogate angiographic endpoints uh, at uh, six to nine months uh, follow-up uh, were better in the Everolimus and Lutin Sten arm. And we also found, even though our uh, trial was not powered for clinical events, we found that the TLR and the TVR uh, clinically indicated uh, was also lower after the use of Everolimus and Lutin stents. So that sounds like a pretty clear-cut victory for a stent in stent a solution and strategy for instant stenosis, is that right? Well, uh, I mean, with the, with the perspective of our trial that was not powered for events, uh, our, the answer is, uh, you're right, this is a clear victory of a Verolimus lutein stent, but I think there are many issues that we need to take into account, and also, uh, I think it's very important to keep in mind that drug coating balloons actually work in patients with instant restenosis, and if we compare the data we got now with those, you, when we use conventional balloon, the, uh, the response regarding minimal lumen diameter and the, the, the late loss, they are markedly improved as compared with other therapies with these balloons. So I think there is plenty of room for drug eluting balloon in this setting. Okay, so let me ask you the final question. If you had a stent in your right coronary artery and it became stenotic, what would you like to have? Okay. Uh, if there are no issues of uh, concern regarding the prolonged dual antiplatelet uh, anti anti therapy, if I'm not concerned because there are multiple stent layers or a major bif bifurcations, uh, I will use uh, a Verolimus lutein stent. Thank you. So uh, there's the answer to the question of how to strategize dealing with instant stenosis, but the interesting thing is that the drug eluting balloon also works and it probably as a technology is not yet finished. So thank you very much.